Well, that's great. Now tell me about the current advertising landscape, especially in Cape Town, because that's the one you work in. Um, how are we going to get more diversity, um, aside from the workshop? How, how do we start integrating more Look, diversity? You know, into I think um, most agencies are doing internships. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of happening. I think really what'll, what is good is clients are starting to demand it. Because the clients themselves know that the target market is um, Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's more hard thing. And they kind of know that where the insight's coming from. So, like, how can you bunch of um, uh, beachy kind of people talk to a person in Gauteng? So I think you, you'll find that uh, all the agencies are really in their strategy departments, insight departments, really scrambling to, to find people. The problem is, um, is it's always hard to find good people any race, mm -hmm. okay? So good people we need. Um, and then if you're good and black, you, you just, you, you outspend, uh, you, uh, you people just throwing money at you. And the, then, then our dilemma is actually, I mean, if I just take our agency, we, we have hired many black people over the years, and then we lose them to Joburg, because Johannesburg agencies pay much better, mm -hmm. because the clients pay much more. Right. So <laughs> almost like we are this feeder system, you know, and they all go like out to Joburg. they're training. But I think, I, you know, to come back to answer you, I think clients are, are just forcing the issue, and agencies have to really do something. But we're not getting enough underneath uh, from student level yeah. and that's the, the and I guess that's what this workshop's doing if I can feed in because you, you throw in a hundred ten will be good but you need a hundred to go in to get the ten mm -hmm. we can't just throw ten or else then you only get one so the, from the schools and the, the internships and we really need to pump them in the sad thing is what's going to happen to the white kids well that was my next and question well uh, uh, unfortunately and it's a travesty but young white kids are suffering the sins of their grandfathers. They're paying the price for the decisions their grandfathers took. And either they have to start their own little businesses, because when you're a two-man business, you're not under the same issue. Yeah. and have the same problems. It's agencies, it's big companies that, that have those. Uh, or they've got to go overseas. Or, or uh, you know, I, I don't have a wise or comforting words. So are you saying there is no solution for them at this point? Not right now, but if mm -hmm. there is a solution, that is if Mr. Zuma will stop worrying about his own lifestyle, put in some really good plans to help our country get going. And mm -hmm. if we could fix the economy, there would be enough growth for all. But all that's happening is our industry shrinking. Uh, country shrinking, the, 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 the economy shrinking, and ad agencies are shrinking even faster because of digital, because of the breakup of the, the various sectors. Mm -hmm. So our industry is going through a revolution. There's definitely too many people and not enough clients, not mm -hmm. enough budgets. I haven't heard a client say, I've increased the budget in the last five years. Everything, I've cut the budget, cut the budget, which means salaries less, less. We, we're in dire straits. And yet we've got this extra pressure. And what we look is to our government going, well, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. And I have to answer, I think they're not doing much. So, I feel sorry for the white kids. I, I do, I, I don't know what to say. But when you put it that way, it seems all doom and gloom. No, it's never doom and gloom mm -hmm. because um, never before are opportunities to run a business mm -hmm. than there are now because um, with digital and you can do amazing things and South Africans are welcome around the world. You know, when I was 20, we weren't welcome. So the opportunities weren't available. I mean, there were different opportunities, but that kind of opportunity. So I, I would have to say a lot of them have to go overseas and go to New Zealand, you know.